Hi folks, the, in this playlist, Transition from Catio B5 to 3D Experience, I have prepared uh, already two uh, tutorials, two, five, four and five, which deal with this uh, icon in the assembly design, which is called assembly pattern. And uh, this uh, particular one, tutorial six, deals with a user-defined pattern. Four was uh, talking about the rectangular pattern, five was circular pattern, and uh, the six is going to be user-defined pattern. There is no counterpart, direct counterpart of this in the Catio V5, okay? There, are, there, there is an icon or a functionality which performs some of the tasks, but uh, not as it is described in the 3D experience. So uh, what I'm gonna do is, uh, first of all, uh, uh, show you where you access that icon. If you're in the assembly design uh, and the assembly tab, there is this thing called assembly pattern. And by the look of it, uh, the icon's shape is actually a rectangular one, but this can be done for circular and for user defined, as you'll see in a minute, okay? Uh, the documentation, unfortunately, is not very helpful. I, I, my, my guess is that it was done in a rush and uh, they'll probably fix it in future releases. Now, when you click on that icon, uh, this dialog box opens up and uh, component uh, uh, component to be instantiated, that's obvious, okay, so. But uh, this second selection box, if you right click on it, you see that it says rectangular, that's the default, circular or user defined. Okay, so I've already done uh, rectangular, I've already done the circular one, and this tutorial is the user one. Now, when you click on that, uh, you get the dialog box. I'm not sure why they have this thing here, but anyway, it happens. And when you do that, this other guy, this uh, when you say okay, the, the, the dialog box on the right shows up and there, of course, you have to select the point that you already have or you are planning to create. Anyway, uh, in my example, I'm already going to create some four points and use that, okay? And then it looks, by the, by the look of it, when you see that, it says object to pattern, and one may get the impression that you can actually go and select the thing that you already did, the part to be instantiated, but it's not going to work because you're going to get an error message. So they want something related to wireframe associated with this. Maybe a point on that part or a line on that part, or even a reference plane will do that. And I'm not sure why they did it like so. So let's go ahead and do the problem, do an example. Uh, I am in the 3D Experiences interface. So let's uh, start with a, a assembly design. We're gonna create a, part for, uh, a product file right there. And uh, I'm going to insert a 3D part, and all that part has is basically those four points that I'm going to create in space, okay? So uh, right-click, insert, a 3D part, and all I want is to make four points. Double-click on the part design, uh, points. Uh, first one is going to be 0, 0, 0, right there. Next one, I'm going to go 40, 40 millimeters away in the X direction. Then I'm going to go 50 millimeters away in the Y direction. And then maybe uh, 50 up. Okay. And uh, I have one, two, three, four. That's good. Good enough. Okay. Notice that these are not in the same plane. Okay. So uh, uh, we say cancel. There we are. We have four points. These are not in the same plane. They can be in the same sketch. It really doesn't matter, but these are points in space. Okay, then I'm going to go all the way to the top and make the part that I want actually to pattern. So what I'm going to do is insert another 3D part. And I'm going to make it. Double click on this thing. And on a convenient plane, on that horizontal plane, I will sketch. On purpose, I'm going to draw it kind of far away to the left because I want to show you something about how these path, what is the meaning of that user defined pattern. So uh, exit and then Pad it by, uh, uh, let's say, uh, 10, 10 millimeters. There we are. Okay. So we have 
a bunch of points and a part to be patterned. So we go all the way to the top, click on the assembly pattern, component to instantiate, it's this. If you put the cursor there, right click, you have rectangular, circular, and user, user. You click on the user, create user, and then you say, okay. Now, I told you that when you look at this, it says object to pattern, it sure looks like this. But if you do that, you will get an error message. Okay, let me, let me show you. You click on this, you get this. And say okay. Let me cancel that and do it again. Right click, use a pattern. I'm not going to select that. They expect you to select something that is maybe a point of that or a line of that, etc. But or uh, you can always go and create it, of course, in in this. But the alternative is you can select one of the reference planes of this. So, for example, X Y, and then. The position, these are the points that you have to pick. So we go, for example, one. That's okay. Let me try with this. For some reason, uh, I'm not sure why it doesn't take that. It, it actually will, as you see. This one and that one. Can I pick this? No. <laughs> but okay, so let's. Uh, oh, uh, let's see. It creates it, but I'm not sure why with that first one that I pick, it's. Uh, oh, I, I, think, I think the reason may be that. Remember, the thing that I made was here. This was the thing that I made right there. Okay. So it's going to assume that this goes with this point. You don't have to pick it, I see. So uh, that thing goes with the first point. So don't bother taking it. That's where you get that error message. Okay. Then the next point was here. So when it makes a pattern, it goes like this. Then the next point is there. So it goes like that. And the last point is up. It goes up. So that's why it did not let me take the first point. It says, hey, I know what your first point is. This corresponds to the first point. Don't take it. Take the other ones. That's rather odd. Okay, that's uh, pretty much it, folks. Uh, good luck.